So let's talk a bit about Caroline, part two. Okay. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Now, <laughs> when we talk about Caroline, part two, you know, that's a completely different vibe from Beautiful Morning in that one. What inspired Caroline, part two? Um, so obviously there's a part one. But um, <laughs> Caroline, part two is basically um, what you learn in part one is sometimes you, you meet somebody and like, you're so happy that you met them, but you just come out of the situation. So in Caroline part two, it's just like, wow, like, I so afraid to um, to, to be in love or for, find love. Like, sometimes you feel like you're undeserving of love because mm. you've been in so much bad situations. Like, this person really want to love someone like me? Like, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was just me telling the person, you know what? I'm going to, you know, let my, my guard down and I'm going to, you know, let love. I'm going to let love love, you know? So... Mm -hmm. I was healing, and now I'm healed. I'm ready to love you. Because a lot of times, people just like to jump into a relationship. Yeah. A relationship. And with me, I just came out of, like, a three-year relationship. And I said to myself, you know what? This year is about me loving myself. Because if I don't love myself and become a better person, I can't attract what's right for me. Right. So, now that I'm good now, now I can love you. Because if I don't love myself, I, I expect to love somebody. I, you know that is a lot to unpack and it's being unpacked and it's being presented so we're going to take a break right here um it has been um excellently entertaining 10 minutes uh, <laughs> when we come back we're going to talk a bit more about the ep and we're going to talk a bit more about the inspiration behind brooklyn west so stay right here this is the listening party on island fm 102.9 and we're back here on the Listening Party Island, FM 102.9. I'm sitting with Brooklyn West. Hot girl, hot girl. <laughs> yes, and she's the champion of aquamarine gold and black locks. Always. <laughs> and of course, um, before we get back into the music, tell me about Shroomy Island. Shroomy Island, uh, so, uh, you know... I, you got so excited just now. <laughs> yeah, because that's my, that's my dream. So, uh -huh. you know, you have TD, you got OVO. Mm -hmm. Show me Allen is my that's my crew and eventually when I get on I wanna sign like artists and especially Bohemian artists but they it's it's a way for me to start my own little thing because I don't wanna be like mm -hmm. fifty right. trying to rap but um I always think I get managed artists really good because I manage myself really good so that's Virgo and me talking. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm quite sure that you can. But I, I feel like I could help a lot of artists because there's a lot of artists like locally I feel like they have amazing talent, but they don't know certain things. Like, you need a look. You mm -hmm. gotta be a certain way. You need, this is your crowd, so focus on this crowd. So sometimes you just need that that guidance. So artists just wanna listen to you when you really get it done. So for me, I try to get it done so I can say, see, this is what I do for myself. Mm -hmm. Nah, let me help you make your life easier. So Shrimmy Allen is my, my record label, and I hope to assign some people someday and start my own OVO sound. TD records, whatever. So I'm so proud of you. Island, yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And you know what? I love the fact that you had started to get like your Shroomy Island stickers. You know, your people giving you like fan art. It's an acronym too. Oh. A lot of people don't know that Shroomy is an acronym. It's steady hustling, rocking our own money yearly. That's what Shroomy steady means. Steady hustling, rocking our, our own, own money, money yearly. 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 That's, that's it. monthly, daily, yearly. Like, that's a lump sum every year. So yes. That's it's like, an acronym, like acronym. A lot of people don't know that, though. That's when you get those um, performing rights organization deposits. Exactly. Like, okay. Exactly. Mine was pretty... Mine was pretty this quarter. <laughs> like February. Let me touch something then. Yeah, February. It, it rolled through. It rolled through. I was like... I wasn't even expecting it. I looked and I was like... Oh, and I haven't released no music in two years. Exactly. Yes. Because yes. I'm about to release music just for people to say they play in it. You no, no, make, no, no. Make, you can't be doing that. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes you want to just play it because everybody drop them, but no. No, no. You got to have a, a vision. But I, I know you. This I know thing, you come up. This thing, this thing touch, touch and agree? Yeah. <laughs> right. This and thing goes with sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> see, 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 see. This thing goes with sense. Yes, and that's how the thing go for real, for real. And the last time you were here, and I keep reflecting on it because we, honestly, I played that interview about four or five times last year because you have such great insight for artists. You talked about being able to find your tribe, find your crew, find your audience, and the experimentation that led to you being able to see who is who and how to cater to them. Mm -hmm. And so how has your sound and your focus on your audience developed since the last time that we spoke oh a lot you know um because sometimes people think like you know because she's like um a certain type of artist she only caters to like i guess women because you know 
uh, my sexuality and all this kind of stuff. But finally, I found a way to bridge like my hair, my fashion, my music. So like last week, I get my hair washed, right? Mm-hmm. But when I drop the my tutorial, I know people like to know about like what you do to get your lock so big. Mm-hmm. So I put my new song on it, Zero. So now people under the thing like. Where you get this song? And it ain't even out, but it's just like, that's free marketing. Why are you so smart? That's, that's, so now everybody like, but when the song dropping, it's just like, it tingle and sense. Like you say, tingle and sense. So Why are you so smart? You have to find like, cool ways to market, especially in social media. Like, if you can master social media, you could be, you could be millionaires, but you just gotta stick to it. You is correct. You gotta stick to it. And, and, and then when we talk about that, um, TikTok, apparently, it's another it's like a it's a bougie vine yeah i gotta I, exactly i gotta go learn that TikTok and thriller now. you get thriller too right i haven't made it over to thriller you know what for tiktok i've only managed to save my name i went in you, and i made you sure. know how i know tiktok was like something serious when i went to submit my music because i use ditro mm-hmm. um any upcoming artist is a great um like it's like cd baby tone cure but it's better it pays out the people that's on the record so if you're an upcoming artist and you want to put your music out on streaming sites, Dystro Kid is a is an amazing place. That's what I use. Mm-hmm. On there, it's like, um, do you want to add your um, music to TikTok so that when your fans, if they making like the little videos on there, they're right. using us like, babe, this is a big app. You right. If the streaming, the site where I put like stuff on Spotify and Exodus and Rocks Me, do you want fans to be able to mm-hmm. use your music on there? So, and that's what, uh, you're right because I actually said I'm gonna move my stuff from TuneCore because I damn it TuneCore oh, from God. from the beginning you know when you stick with what you know so I said you know what I'm gonna move over to CD Baby and then I you know I'm looking because I wanted to hit like the Spotify list uh-huh. um, the boyfriend is on CD Baby and I'm like how come you have access to this this and that and so the point is when you're choosing how you want to distribute your your records you have to look at what you intend to do to give your music the most marketability possible. Yes, I do want people singing It's a Beautiful Morning in their TikToks. Um, well, the thing about, because I used to be on Tone Car and I heard about CD Baby, but mm-hmm. and a person, her name is Key Open Door, she managed 21 Savage. She's mm-hmm. the one who told me to go on Dice Throw, and that's mm-hmm. somebody in the industry, and she's like, I use this for, you know, 21. Right. Mm-hmm. And it pays out the producers, It whoever's on your team, if you want them to get 5%, 2%, mm-hmm. it shows you breakdowns, it shows you, like, every day, I know how much people stream you on Apple Music. I know mm-hmm. if somebody do a Shazam where, yeah. which is like, one day I got like 10 Shazams, and I'm like, wait, people actually, we like, want put no way in. like, what this song is, so... Uh-huh. I think it's like it's so amazing. So, uh, Daistro, like, don't even worry about CD Baby. Go to Daistro. This is not an ad either. It's just no. It's just amazing. Like you could see everything, every breakdown. You get paid out um, instantly. It it gives you daily, yearly, everything. And that's some free advice coming from Brooklyn West. Okay, Daistro kit. Okay, so there you go. She says Daistro. Y'all go to Daistro, and that's important because you you want your optics. When I do influencer work and you know i put that in quotation marks Mm -hmm. because i really call it advertising or marketing for a company um the first thing that they want to know is what are your interactions Mm -hmm. um who's looking for you what is your demographic and being able to access that information as an artist is one of the more important things so it's good that you're able to throw that out there and it circles right back to the original question which was how did the music changed from our last conversation up until now Mm -hmm. you were able to take those metrics and figure out where who what age even the state Mm -hmm. down to the state well i'll be spending two hundred dollars to market this song in this state thank you very much yeah you it lets you know like what what um what you like even like in continents like i get a message yesterday that's like Hey, all the way in Kenya, and I can't wait for you to hear your new EP. And I'm like, but I live in Nassau, but somebody the Bahamas. In, in Kenya, like, listening to my music, or it's like, hey, I'm in Italy, like, I'm a huge fan. And then this person was like, hey, I'm in Greece, I can't have access to the song. So then I had to worry about, like, YouTube having restrictions on yeah. something. So I had to make sure that people in every place get heard. So it's just like, it's, it's crazy. Like, people how don't music. think about that. No. People don't think about that. 